If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer, it's important to know you have a team of healthcare professionals who are here to help and support you. I'm Amanda Kogelman, a pharmacist on the Clinical Oncology Pharmacy team at the Cowell Family Cancer Center. Our team of highly trained and extremely knowledgeable pharmacists and pharmacy technicians work exclusively at the Cancer Center to ensure you get the exact medication in the precise doses ordered for you. Your precise dose is calculated using your height, weight, laboratory values, and other factors. We are some of the staff who work behind the scenes at the Cancer Center to make sure your treatment is safe and tailored to your specific needs. We understand that this may be a confusing and overwhelming time for you. Learning a few key facts about chemotherapy may help decrease any anxiety you may feel about receiving treatment. Once a cancer diagnosis is made, your individualized treatment is based on many factors. These factors include goals of therapy, your age and overall health, type and stage of your cancer, and national recommendations that are based on medical research. This research has been done to determine which type of chemotherapy is most effective against specific cancers. Treatment can be a single type of therapy or a combination of therapies. These therapies may include chemotherapy, radiation, or surgery. Sometimes chemotherapy is the only treatment you need and sometimes chemotherapy is used with surgery or radiation or both. Chemotherapy is the term generally used to describe all anti-cancer drugs. There are many different types of drugs used to treat cancer. Different drugs that work in different ways may be combined to work against the cancer cells. You and your oncologist will decide what drug or combination of drugs you will receive. Traditional chemotherapy kills rapid-growing cancer cells, but may also damage rapid-growing normal cells. Other medications used to treat cancer include biologic therapy, immunotherapy, and targeted therapy. These medications target cancer cells differently, and compared to traditional chemotherapy, are usually more selective at targeting cancer cells and sparing normal cells. Biologic therapy is a class of drugs made from living organisms. Immunotherapy uses the body's immune system to recognize and target cancer cells. Targeted therapy selectively targets a specific component or function of cancer cells while doing less damage to normal cells. These therapies may be used together or separately. Your healthcare team may use the word regimen your regimen is simply your prescribed course of medical treatment. The design of each regimen will differ depending on the type of cancer being treated. Your regimen may include chemotherapy that is given at regular intervals called cycles. A cycle may be a dose of one or more drugs followed by several days or weeks without treatment. This can give normal cells time to recover from drug side effects. The length of a cycle and the number of cycles varies. Cancer treatment is often given through a vein in your arm or through a special device called a port, which is placed just under your skin on your chest. It is important for you to know that chemotherapy infusions should not cause any pain. If you feel any discomfort or pain at the infusion site during your treatment, it is very important that you inform your nurse immediately. We're committed to your care. Everyone on your team wants the best possible outcome for you. Please let us know if you have any questions about your chemotherapy treatment.